Suburban.Farm Status Ape Update, uh, October 25th, 2014. Um, got the irrigation in and buried. Got the valve boxes going. I'm using bleeder valves to water the garden, however, though, because I have yet to get electrical to this. I've got a contractor coming out. We'll take a look. Um, over here, you can see the petunias are doing, going, doing really well. Our cherry tomatoes, we've got six plants. Those are rocking and rolling. They're starting to flower, so we should see some fruit set here before too long. Um, these wireframe trellises, the base of them have some peas. Peas are starting to take off. Um, obviously, there's a whole lot of caterpillars that have been coming in and just eating these guys, so I've been popping them like little juicy firecrackers. Um, that romaine lettuce back there is also coming in pretty good. Um, petunias, again, doing phenomenal. Um, next to them is celery, the guy in the middle there, I don't know what's up with him. I think he's battling some disease or whatever, but the other two are doing pretty good. Banthuses, a few flower buds, not many. Here, that dead space that you see was supposed to be chive onions. I'm not seeing a whole lot come in. They'll kind of squirrel up some little green spirals and then die off pretty quick. But along back there's some romaine lettuce. That seems to be doing okay. Radishes, I've probably eaten half the crop already. Um, never liked radishes before now. Uh, I've really kind of found a new passion for them. So planted a whole, button, a whole bunch in the new section. I did the uh, half and half radish and carrot planting. It turned out really well. Did a little bit of thinning. Um, radishes came in strong. They're coming out. The carrots have plenty of time to cook on the emitters. So that way I get a have a rolling set to my uh, garden. Next I picked up this little iron trellis at the Goodwill for those peas. Um, those should fill up the whole trellis here by the end of the uh, season. And as you can see, um, there's the dianthuses. About half of one at least. It's kind of died off a bit. But they're doing really well. Uh, more petunias. Um, let's hop over here and check out the peppers. Peppers are doing really well. They're starting to get a, lot, a whole lot of new growth to them. The yellows, as you can see, is starting to turn color a bit, which is a good sign. Those will probably come off and go in a salad here before too long. Um, this is really cool. My jalapeno, that's its first flower, so hopefully before too long we'll see some fruit coming in on that guy. The mums have died off. Poor mums. They went in with all, all flowers, so it might be shock. I did see some other flower buds on there, so those should come back soon as well. Here's the Swiss chard. Swiss chard's doing okay. About two-thirds of the crop had set, um, but I can tell some caterpillars are ravaging this pretty bad. Also got an issue with some ants, so I'll need to figure that out as well. Citrus. Lemon is full of trees, as is the grapefruit. The tangerine and the Valencia. Not as good, but they're coming in just fine. Here was today's project. Put in a whole bunch of stuff. Um, mainly over here we've got broccoli and radishes. A whole bunch of radishes. And then through here, carrots, kale, and romaine lettuce. A whole lot of kale, a whole lot of carrots. And then here, cilantro and spinach. Each one of those little circles is an emitter. And then at each one of those emitters I plant two to three seeds. And then what happens is I thin them as they kind of break through the soil. That way I don't have any dead emitters doing nothing. So, excited to see what happens here. My leafy green crop for the winter. This will be a two-stage because I do eat a lot of cilantro. And then hopefully I'll be juicing a lot of kale this winter too.